know, at some point. So. All right, so you know what? We might as well just get started. I know it's Monday. Everybody's had a long day, kickoff to the week, so I don't want to take a lot of time. The purpose of these, um, I guess the purpose of these talks this week are really to get the vault going. Uh, the vault is a project that has been near and dear to my heart for such a long time. I've, I've had this dream of wanting to make an impact. Um, growing up, I have dealt with so many issues pertaining to mental health and self-esteem and recognizing my worth. I have done so much research and learning and educating myself and therapy. Um, I've worked with people. I've acquired so much knowledge and I've had so many moments where I felt alone. And today I finally I guess, come to the realization that one of one of the things I'd want to do is just pay it forward. So this is the reason why the vault came together. Um, I had so much positive feedback on a lot of the videos and the contents that I post on my social media. So I decided to gather all that content in one place and create the vault. So the vault came about on the feedback that I've been receiving from everybody. So the vault will be this one safe place where all the motivation, uh, the unsolicited advice, all of my thoughts, anything that has to do with personal development will be posted here. Um, the people that have decided to join the vault um, are all people who are on this journey of bettering themselves, improving themselves, their own personal growth. So I invite all of you to please comment and interact as much as possible. This is an experience for all of us and you will get what you put in. So if you're going to stay silent on the sidelines, that is your choice and I respect it. But I believe that if you put yourself out there and are willing to interact and grow, so much good can come out of doing the hard work. So that is the reason behind my creation of the vault. So I, I'm very excited. I am very green. And I, I am just going to go with the flow and speak with my heart. And hopefully it will resonate with all of you or at least some of you. Um, so the second thing I wanted to say is that as this group grows, I am hoping we will have more and more interaction, and I want everyone to feel comfortable in speaking here. Um, this is a place where there is no judgment, where we are here to just be ourselves, learn, and evolve. Um, so please feel free to bring up any questions that you have along the way. Um, and if I can't have the answer for you, I will find the answer for you. So those of you, a lot of you may not know me personally. So I wanted to take a few moments just to share a little bit of my story. Um, I have... Well, first of all, my name is Melina Parides. I'll start at the basics. I was born and raised in Montreal, and I was blessed with a career in travel. And I have been one of the lucky ones to be able to travel my entire life um, up until about five years ago when I've had to slow down the pace because I became um, a mom to an amazing little girl who I raised full time. So first and foremost, um, I am a mom. I am a mom to an amazing, amazing little girl who is behind everything that I do. Um, I am a huge personal development junkie. I am a mental health advocate. I am a mindset influencer. I am a former dance teacher, former French instructor. And as I said before, I have built a career in hospitality and events for close to two decades. And prior to COVID, and I'm sorry, just prior to COVID, I've had to make the switch over to a job in sales and IT. So you could say that my life has been pretty full and full of experiences. 
One of the reasons that I've created the vault was because there were many times where I felt that I was completely misunderstood. There were so many moments in my life that I didn't know where to turn or if anybody could even relate to what I was going through. I still remember um, I was recovering from an abusive relationship and I escaped that relationship by taking a job abroad and moving to a foreign country. And then I found out that I was pregnant with my daughter. And I remember that moment. I remember the fear, that, that feeling of just being alone in the world and not knowing what I was going to do. But I had promised myself that I was going to give this child the best life possible. And that required me to do the work. I couldn't travel. I couldn't escape my reality anymore. I had to face my fear and I had to take on the challenge and just run with it. And the moment I recognized that not quitting was not an option, then I just went through the motions. And when my daughter was seven weeks old, I went back to work full time and I have been building a life for us ever since. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is because everything I will share with you over the coming days comes from my heart and comes from my own lessons that I've learned in life. And like I said earlier, my goal is just to pay it forward. So I hope some of it will resonate with you. And, you know, what I've realized is that now more than ever, a lot of us are just going through the motions. We are literally surviving we are literally trying to keep our head above water. Are you, I, does any of this resonate with you? Like, do you feel like lately you have just been trying to keep up with the motions and the rules and being a mom, being a father, being a parent, being an employee, all these different hats that we have to wear and every morning, just the same routine, the same routine follows. And the next thing you know, you go to bed at night to only restart it all the next day. And the reason why I bring this up is that it is so easy to lose ourselves in the motions and in the rules that society has placed upon us. And I didn't realize that I was completely lost. I couldn't even remember what were my hobbies or what I enjoyed doing when I was fortunate enough to spend time at home. So the purpose of our day one tonight is for me to help you reconnect with who you are at your core. Everything starts from you. Everything starts from up here. Everything comes with your way of interpreting things, how you react to situations. There are so many things in today's world that we can't control. What you can control is your response and your outlook. On things. So that leads me to tonight's topic of you. I um, would ask you to pull up the workbook that was saved in the files or emailed to most of you. If I forgot you, just let me know and I'll happily send it to you. And I'm hoping that you took the time to figure out um, why you want to do this work. Why now? Like what has changed? What made you realize that you are ready to do this? Um, you don't obviously have to answer or comment, but I want you to take a moment and just write out why you're here and why you want to do this. And what are you hoping to achieve over the course of the next few days? So like I said, so many times we're just so caught in the motions of every day's reality that we, we forget who we are and what's important to us. And I think at the beginning of any personal development exercise, it is key to recognize and be in line with who we are and what we stand for. 
One of the best exercises I've done, which was a pivotal moment for me in my transformation, was sitting down and listing my values. What do I stand for? What's important for me? So on one of the pages of the workbook, I've actually taken the time to list out a number of values. Um, it's this page right here. I want you to take a few moments and I want you to actually circle or identify the ones that resonate with you, the ones that you feel are in line with who you are at your core. So take a moment, do that exercise and write it out. And the reason I've put all this on paper is because I want you to have a visual reminder of all of this and everything that we're doing. Um, I want you that after this is all over, I want you to be able to pull up this workbook and have visual cues of what you said was important to you. I am a big advocate of putting notes and sticky notes everywhere. And I feel that it is so important um, to find strategies that work for you to be able to um, to be able to make decisions that are in line with who you are. Again, there is so much noise and so much chatter out there that use whatever strategies work for you. And we'll talk about some of those strategies to keep you in tune with who you are as a person. I know I haven't left you much time to um, talk about, you know, to review your values. And I'm not here to hold your hand, but I'm here to give you the tools to help you, um, to help you recognize what is truly important for you. Oh my gosh, I love seeing you guys on. Hey, Marilyn. So now that you've been, now that you have identified your values, I want you to ask yourself a question. The decisions that you make, how you act, how you speak, how you go through about through your day, are they in line with those values? When you make a decision, are you staying true to who you are at your core? I challenge you every time an opportunity comes to think if you are being true to who you are. And if you're not, that's okay. What do you need to do in order to stay in line with who you are? I think that at the root of it, your values are one of the most important things that determine the kind of human that you are. I often compare, um, I often compare relationships to building houses, right? If you want to have a solid relationship, you need to have a good foundation. The same thing with building a house. If you want a house that's going to withhold the storms, you need to make sure you have a solid foundation. Well, how you go through life, you need to make sure you have a solid foundation. You need to make sure that this is aligned with this and you are able to be strong enough to go through everything life will throw at you. I know it's not going to be easy, but you need to find it within you to be able to go through those things. So when you have an opportunity, I ask you to complete um, the values portion of the workbook. Um, and just, like I said, use reminders to make sure that you are in line with um, what your values are. The other thing I wanted to talk about is once you've determined what your values are, I want you to think about what you envision your life to be. If you were not the ideal version of you that you hope to be. What does that version of you look like? What, what would you want to change about yourself? What do you picture yourself being? I know this sounds like an interview question, and I'm not asking you to put together a vision board that you're going to stick on your wall at the beginning of the year and just look at and dream of these vacation places. That's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is for something deeper. I want you to take the time and recognize what vision you have for your life. 
what are some of your goals? Now let's, let's, let's go big. Okay. I don't want anyone to play small. You are worthy of amazing things. Okay. There is absolutely no reason to be small in all of this. When we were kids, we had the hugest dreams. And then as we grew older, life just seemed to have altered us and we're afraid of dreaming. So let's talk about what are some of the goals that you have for your life? Do you have a vision? Do you know where you want to be? Make it big. Don't be scared. If money was not an option, like if you had all the money and if you had all the time in the world, what would your life look like? Take the time to analyze that from a job perspective. What fuels you? What lights you up? What are you passionate about? What do you love doing? Are you doing that today? And if not, what can you do to be doing that? We spend so many hours in our day working that it's not fair to be doing something that doesn't fill up your cup and fuel you. So what would you do? What would you do from a job perspective? What would your finances look like in your dream life? What would be your annual income? What what would you be comfortable living with? What are you doing to reach that today? What does your home look like? Where are you living? How many rooms? All the material things that you've dreamt about. Write that out. Don't be afraid. What are your relationships like? What are your friends like? What is your partner like? Do you have a family? Are you single? What is, what is your plan? What is the, What is that big picture that you have for your life? Do you guys even have a big picture? Do you know what you want your life to look like down the road? Or are you just going through the motions and everything will work itself out? What does that mean? What are you working towards? For those of you that are parents, have you thought about what you want your kids to remember you with? What do you want to leave behind for them? Are you just going through the motions of being a parent? Come on, guys. We deserve big things. And what I want is a big thing may not be the same for the next person, and that's okay. It's okay to be unique, and it's okay to have our own goals. I want you to take the time to identify what those are. Once you've done this mental shift, what else do you want to achieve for yourself? We're going to talk about self-care and taking care of ourselves this week, but what does your body look like? We've talked about mindset and we're going to work on the mindset, but physically, there are certain things you can control. What do you look like? What did you envision yourself becoming? So those are all things that I hope you guys will take the time to complete And, you know, keep them nearby. Keep them in a place where you will refer to them down the road. And not forget where you came from. Because, like I said, so many times we lose ourselves in the motions. And how long are you going to keep going like this? Where you're just going through and you're just existing every day. But you're not exactly living, are you? So I challenge you today. I challenge you to take the time for yourself to go back to who you are, to determine your values, and to determine a vision for your life. So I'm going to end this um, with a quote that I thought was appropriate and resonated a lot with me. Like I said, these calls or these talks are going to be very short, um, but there will be plenty of topics that I hope will resonate with you. I want you to take the content that I'm sharing with you, take it home and ponder it and work on it. And I can't wait to hear what you have to share. So I'm going to close off tonight's call 
with a quote from Brene Brown, which I included in your workbook, which I thought was just perfect. And it says, no matter what gets done and how much is left undone, I am enough. It's going to bed at night thinking, yes, I'm imperfect and vulnerable and sometimes afraid, but that doesn't change the truth that I am also brave and worthy of love and belonging. You are worthy of amazing things. So take the time and do the work. It will be so worth it. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for our first nightly talk. And I can't wait to see you again tomorrow where we will tackle um, limiting beliefs and overcoming fears and discussing why often we stay stuck and not doing what we really wish.